So we just got back from a test drive in a 1967 Mustang. It's a pretty good test drive. It does have a 289 under the hood with power steering, aluminum radiator, and electric fans in the front. Still got the original fan right here just for extra cooling. We're gonna be walking around this car, point out any kind of flaws. That way you know exactly what you're buying before you get here. We update the website here, which is maplemotors.com every Monday with new cars. I have finance and I have shipping available. So if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. This is what we post, classic American muscle cars. All right, I'm gonna be looking for any kind of flaws. We're gonna start up here in the front. We're gonna go down the lower portion of the car all the way around. And finally, we'll get her started and check out the undercarriage. You can tell they replaced the front bumper on this one. Looks pretty good going down the lower portion here. Decent tires on this one, a little dry on the edges. American racing wheels, disc brakes in the front. Trim's pretty clean. Door's got a scratch right here in the middle. Yeah, it looks like it's hanging a little bit too. Little hinges. A few little bubbles popping up there. Coming up over the fender on the passenger rear. Seems solid except for here where you got some rust trying to pop through on the back. Coming back around to the back. You got a big old chip right here on top. We'll get to the top portion here in a minute. Back bumper looks really good. Nice and clean. Dual exhaust out the back. Coming down this portion. Pretty clean on this side. Over the driver's side. Rear fender. Trim sticking out just a little bit. Checking this lower portion here. Okay, on the lower part in the front, a few little bug chips. Coming down the mid section now. Mirror seems to have a little bit of pitting popping up on it. Got a chip right in the middle of the door. Right up on the top here, there's a little crack in the corner. Also got a little spot right here in the middle of the door. The door handle on this car has pitting on it and there's a chip right below it. Two chips, three chips. One on the inside here and two down here. Got a spot right here passenger rear panel there and of course that was that big spot on the back I was showing you a minute ago little spots in the paint on top here you got some big old chunks missing of the paint falling off cracking It's like they sealed this up with some caulk or something. Try to keep the water out. A few little bubbles on that pillar. Okay, coming around the back end. Decent weather stripping. Extra trim parts. Fan shroud. Let's look up under this. Got some surface rust popping up. Where the trunk's leaking or was leaking. A little bit of moisture down in here too. As you can see.
package tray it looks pretty good let's look up under there to get everything out of the way okay trunk lid decent shape i'm down with that and it shuts easy on the trunk lid right here below the mustang you got some bubbles popping up on the corner here as well top side looks pretty good chip here in the corner and let's head down this side coming down this side of the car same thing happening over here a few little cracks a couple bubbles right in this area too Roof's looking pretty good. A couple cracks down in there. Middle of the door looks good. You got some pitting on your door handle. A little bit of pitting on your uh, trim there. Same with your vent window. This one looks fairly new. Light scratches on top of your fender here. Right there. A couple little scuffs. I guess where they were working on the car. Okay, made it all the way around. Let's check out the interior, get her started up, and I'll get you some undercarriage shots. As we open the door, you see they've modified the door panel, probably started falling off, so they put some screws in it. You have got some decent weather stripping around the door. Check it out up under the door. The jams are nice and clean. Weather stripping looks decent, except for right here on the back window where it's drying up. Carpet needs to be replaced. It is old carpet. A couple spots in the seat there, but overall, nice and clean. Package tray looks decent. Speaker covers have been painted. Headliners in good shape. Go ahead and place your bets. You think the horn works. It's a little game we like to play on the channel. Starts up decent. Here's your mileage. Blower motor does cut on. It doesn't get really hot though. Wipers work. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure, I can't tell if the gauge works or not. It fluctuates everywhere. Usually if you rev it up, that gauge should move. I don't think it's accurate. Temp gauge does work, it goes back and forth. Turn signals are cutting on and we'll leave them on. And we'll cut the headlights on. Do have the face of the radio dash here it's kind of wavy <laughs> let's try that horn y'all ready no horn on this one. Right, let's check these lights out left tire signals working rear tail lights are cutting on Headlights are on, right turn signal is working. Well, that'd be left. I was staring at it from the front. Uh oh. Our door's stuck here. There we go. I think it's the hinge hanging up. Put a little WD 40 on her. signals working on this side as well so the lights are 
lights are working good. We're gonna go ahead and come down with the hood. Comes down fairly easy. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. Be sure to check out the test drive. I'll light up the undercarriage with a, uh, a spotlight and drive over the camera. We also have detailed photos at maplemotors.com. Let's look under this. guys i appreciate you watching hit that subscribe button for daily content maplemotors.com offers shipping finance and wheels tires parts and accessories and if you haven't already hit that share button that like button that helps us out greatly and i'll thank you in advance i'll see you in the next video guys later